Hello everybody, what's going on? It's Bianca Dragon and welcome to Spawn Cup Series Season 5 Preseason Thunder presented by your mom. Yeah. It's the fifth season, 21 versus 20 cars and new versus old. New versus old cars, yeah. All that stuff. Crap ton of team changes. Couple of new rookies that we're going to have to go through. Here we go, and the first car out on the pit is Dustin Griffiths in the 01, but who's going to be the first car out? We're going to find out here in a moment. And Griffiths is the first one out. Dylan Young going to follow in behind him. Dustin Griffiths, alright. Look at this guy. <laughs> Drawing a Pontiac. At least I hope that's a Pontiac. <laughs> so Dustin Griffiths in the 01. Just came off a very, very uh, interesting uh, season. <laughs> Finished second in the points. Last season, number 20, but now he switched to the 01 car, sponsored by U.S. Army. Go Army. But Dustin Griffiths has really improved ever since he joined our series in season 2. Season 5, he's hoping for a big, big season for Pontiac Racing Enterprises, a one-season one team. Fielding Pontiacs for this year, for the season, for as for the theme. As does Griffiths. <laughs> we'll see how he does this season. All right, who's in front of him? We got here. We go. We got Zach Rogers. We got a new rookie driving the number 56 for Hard to Pull Bar Sport, formerly driven by Austin the Plan. And Zach Rogers definitely looking to be a big name here in the Dupont Cup Series. As that number 56 has really been has really been good lately in terms of equipment and status. I mean, they were able to get LaPlante into the chase somehow. So Harper Moore Sports, they got themselves a new rookie in that number 56, and we'll see how he does. All right. They're still in Young in the 16, once again, for the fifth season straight. Glad to see he is actually staying loyal to his number, unlike a lot of other drivers, but... Dylan Young, four straight chase appearances, but no championships. And then number 16, Granger. He is really, really hoping for a really good season once again, and hopefully a championship. He's been on a streak of without a win for a very good while. He's won a race in season three, I think. No, actually, actually, I don't think he's won a race in season two, actually. So Dylan Young's got a long win streak to break. And right now he's pushing the back of Chris Washer, former teammates these two. Uh, Tross left the number four of Fuel Brothers Racing. So Washer decided to take the place since he was not very satisfied with the stuff that Roush was giving him. Either that or just a skill was absolutely suckish. So we'll see how Chris Washer does in the number four. Sky Commons in the number nine. Num the number nine for four seasons was owned by Daniel Day, but Day decided to leave the number nine for this season. So Sky Commons, who won a race last season, his rookie season, will be filling in for the nine. Kind of odd because the only NBR card actually went outside of Michael Block. It's booted from NBR. <laughs> so Sky Commons in the number nine, looking to looking to uh, improve this season. Let's see how he does. Oh boy, well, this is a little blast from the past. We got Matthew Fuller in the double zero. Same double zero he drove back in season two in his rookie season. He's been gone ever since. His only season was in season two. He has one win, which was at Donington Park. So, Matthew Fuller, it's great to see him back. The cousin of, um, uh, the cousin of Jason Trost. So, these two are definitely looking to be uh, big stars in the series. I mean, Fuller didn't really get to show much besides a win last season. I mean, in season two. So, see how he does. We got Nick Barney in the number 10. He drove the number 39 last season, but now he's driving for Pontiac Racing Enterprises for for this season, the number 10. I guess he wasn't very happy with the uh, number 39, so now he's driving for Pontiac with Dustin Griffiths. Hopefully, Barney does well this season. We got Austin Ogo in the 8. Kind of surprising he moved from the 17 to the 8. 
seeing how Ogo was being re was actually really really good at Roush. So now he's trying for an Arganassi racing in the number eight. Ogo was really impressive last season. Won the wild card. Was close to winning the championship, but when they came to um, the finale, he didn't really have much of a shot. Then in front of him, we have Andre Salin, the number zero. I recognize this name. He's a Sony Cup Series driver, which, well, the Punk Cup Series, well, I guess it's kind of the sister series of that. So Andre Salin, the number zero. Another Pontiac Racing Enterprise driver. He's a rookie. See how he does this season. I'm very interested to see how he does in a zero car. Well, tell you what, I don't think Hendrick is very satisfied with their lineup anymore. I mean, look at this. They put in Jason Tross. Tross is abs was absolutely miserable last season, but they decided to give him the number 88 as, oh, Andre Allen pulling off into the pits with another driver. Not too sure who that was, but Tross in the number 88. As we look at the practice times here, wow. <laughs> well, we'll get to the leading driver time in a moment. But Tross is definitely looking to improve. I mean, he's got Hendry equipment, so hopefully that means something for him. We got Deanna Shelton. All right. Well, she was very impressive last season. Picked up the first win for a female. Made the chase. Was horrible in it. But she's back for another season, the number 09. Which we're being, which we're being told that NBR is actually interested in acquiring number 09. So we'll see how, we'll see what happens for her at this race. We got Cody Lamas back in the number 48. Look at that retro scheme, 48. Yeah, that was the only good low scheme Jamie Johnson ever had. <laughs> but Lamas is definitely looking to be an improver. I'm not sure why some of these cars are blurry and some aren't, but whatever. But Lamas. Did an okay job at the 48 last season, but there's always room for improvement. Let's see how he does. He's quite active in the Punk Cup Series community. Zach Rogers looks like he just came off a pit stop. We got three drivers here. We got Ty Nunn in the 20. Boy, Ty Nunn's coming in with a lot of grudges. <laughs> Took out Daniel Day at California, which ruined a lot of championship chances. Well, it ruined Dustin Griffith's championship chance, chance at least. Dustin Griffiths left the 20, surprisingly. Ty Nunn came in and filled the space. And surprise, surprise, Joe Gibbs is fielding uh, Chevy cars for this season, so Toyotas have been really downsized. They have Steel Power to third in the 87, drove the 66 last season, was not very good in it, so number 66, he bought the 87, so now they're the 87. Yeah, 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 he sucks. Yeah, we get it. Well, we got a story about this one, huh? Nicholas Guerrero last season's DuPont Cup Series Championship. Everyone was expecting him to stay with RJI in the long run, but when the announcement came out that he was going to be switching to Richard Petty Moore Sports in number 19, everybody was shocked. Richard Johnson was actually very, very unhappy to hear that Guerrero was going to be leaving his team because they had a championship driver on their hands. Guerrero, two seasons straight, he's been finished third or better in the points. But Guerrero's looking for a back-to-back -back championship, and he's looking to bring Richard Petty more sports to a championship. We got Eugene DeMax, who was being pushed by Seth Cole for a moment. In the 25, well, DeMax was the 88 last season. Now he's the 25. Let's we'll see how he does. I mean, that's Seth Cole's old ride, and Seth wasn't very impressive in it. But DeMax is looking for another win. He does have a chance. We got P.J. Williams in the 39. PJ, man, he's he's been improving ever since season three. So now he's in the 39, once driven by Nick Barney. And he's looking for a good season this season. We got Justin Perry, once again, switching to another team. Was with Joe Gibbs, very good with them. Now he's the 15 for Ganassi. And, oh, boy, Dylan Schwammer in the 14 holding them up. But he's going to fall in line with them. Dylan Schwammer, man. I don't think anyone really expected him to come and just take over Seth Buchanan's ride. Buchanan was very great, was great last season, but just did not decide to return to the 14th this season. No one knows why. Here's Ian Dutta, number 24. When it was now Sam Ferris we moved to the 5, and Nick Mace was taking the year off. Ian Dutta came in and filled the spot. Dutta was not too impressive as a rookie, but he was definitely not the worst. So we'll see how Dutta Forms here at Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, I think that's everybody in that line, yeah. 
Zach Rogers leading a big pack of cars. We got we got Drew Austin, the 11. He's back. Drew Austin won the Talladega 500 here back in season back in uh, season two. And wow, it's actually really cloudy. Yeah, I forgot to mention. There's a chance of rain coming right now, and we're not too sure if we're gonna be able to do the even do even do the race because of the rain. But Michael Block in the 29. Boy, Block came off an absolutely brilliant season last season. Didn't win, but he was the points leader for over half the races. So Michael Block looking to prove himself as a possible championship contender once again. Richard Johnson's back, ladies and gentlemen. He was absent from season. Well, he was sort of absent. Johnson was was from seasons one to three, but then it was not going to be missing season four. But when Brian James got injured, he called Richard Johnson and put him in the uh, spy. Now Richard Johnson, because Guerrero left, is going to be taking over for Guerrero in the 34. So Richard Johnson's in his own championship equipment, so we'll see how he does. Uh, Brian Nicholson. Oh, boy. Here we go. Well, Brian Nicholson was a possible championship compare. Well, there's a 19 to Guerrero. But Nicholson drove in season three only, and he actually did make the chase. He didn't really win a race, but he was very, very impressive in his rookie season. He's taken over the 21 once driven by Sean Galligan, so we'll see how he does. Quite interested to see how he performs. Richard Johnson's the leading car right now. And Fred, look at that. He's point one faster than Schwallenberg. <laughs> He's got a fast car. Oh boy, we got another rookie here, Jonathan Skav Skavnicky or Skavnicky. I'm not too sure how to say his name. Hopefully, he tells me. But we're just gonna call him Skavnicky for now. So Jonathan Skavnicky's a rookie. I'm actually quite familiar, and I own his team in Arcsoa, <laughs> in ARC SOA. He's my driver <laughs> for Cybertron Motorsports. So he's here in the Dupont Cup Series, and number 18 for Joe Gibbs. One's driven by Justin Perry. We'll see how he does. He's 30th fastest right now. Uh, well, actually, 32nd now. There's another rookie, Joey Murphy, in the number seven. Once driven by Kyle Sosnowski, who's absent again this season. Joey Murphy's another rookie. I'm quite interested to see how he is in the number seven. They got a serious sponsorship. <laughs> see what I did there? Because the sponsor is Serious Radio. <laughs> oh god, horrible puns. We'll see how Murphy does. Oh boy, Charles Sanford in the number five. When base, when base was announcing he was going to be gone for the season, oh, everybody's slowing up, but when it was announced Mace was going to be taking the season off, Sanford came in, went to the five, and Sanford actually was really improving last season. Almost made the chase in the number 24, and won his first race in Kentucky last season. Oh, boy, okay, for a second, I thought I'd do that damage. Well, either way, here's Alex DeMarco in the number six. DeMarco drove the number two last season, didn't win, but and his Penske rebuilding was sort of a failure. But DeMarco moving to Roush in the number six, which is going to be some good equipment for him. So that's going to be really big to see how DeMarco does this season. Just ten minutes left in practice, by the way, so we should probably hurry up. Jake Cole now being sponsored by Pennzoil due to his two two back-to-back -back wins last season, which were at, I believe, what was it? Mossport and... Mossport and uh, Zangeltis, right? So J. Cole in the number one looking to finally actually prove himself and make the chase for the first time. See how he does. Daniel Day in the number twenty two taking over Brandon Griffiths. So Day is driving for Penske and a Dodge, so and Day's actually really, really excited to be a part of Penske. I was talking to him earlier today. He said he was quite ecstatic about it. We'll see how he does this season. He had a really bad luck season last season, number nine. Austin, the play in the number 99. Oh, we got a new leader. That's uh, that's Seth Cole. Yeah, three. We still need to talk about him. Austin, the play in the 99. So yeah, the plan was a former Roush driver. He drove the six for I think what was it, two straight seasons, and I believe it's two straight seasons. But yeah, the plan taking over for William Duncan, surprisingly, in the number 99. We'll see how the plan does. I'm quite curious to see how he does. Trevor Brussels, the number 17. I Brussels drove for MBR last season, that performed well, so now he's the 17. Really quite interested to see how he does, because that 17 has really had some bad luck in the past before. Ogo was really good in the 17, so I Brussels took a really good ride, hopefully. We'll see how he does. 
William Duncan, one of the biggest surprising moves of the offseason was that he was going to be switching to Penske to be teammates with Daniel Day and whoever is in the 12. <laughs> I mean, whoever is in the uh, 2. I totally forgot. Blanking out. William Duncan, though, sw I mean, he stayed loyal to his right till now. I don't know why he moved, but we got five minutes left in practice. But Duncan is looking to try and improve himself within Penske. And Pichu London, wow, a lot of big announcements came from this one. He was announcing he's leaving Earnhardt Ganassi, his championship team, decided to form his own team, which doesn't have a name yet. But uh, they bought the 78 equipment, and then they bought set Cole's 45 equipment from last season. So Pichu London, we'll see how he does in his own team. Still need a name for it. <laughs> Probably going to be something with Pokemon, huh? <laughs> uh, anyone this pack that I missed? I don't think I have. I think I've gotten it. Well, oh, no, actually, Ca Alan Cavanero in the 42. Finally, he's getting a good ride. Finally, he's the 87 was underfunded, but now he's getting the ride of his life here today in the 42. This 42 has always been successful. So, Cavanero, I'm actually quite excited to see how he does in really good equipment. Charles Jackson taking number two. That's right. Charles Jackson, the, uh, well, he saw the Joe Gibbs owner driving the number two for Penske. That was a big surprise. Charles is leaving Gibbs since he owns it. And they're getting really technical up there. But Charles Jackson, number two, once driven by Alex DeMarco, looking to try and help Penske improve. Pollard back there again. Sean Galligan. Boy, this guy loves changing his teams, doesn't he? Sean Galligan drove the 21 last season. Got a win in it. Now he's drafted a number 30 for MBR. So Galgan's going to be some top equipment, because NBR usually always brings some good cars to the table. Chris Washer, yeah, we talked about him. Um, oh, John Cittadino, we got a rookie here. John Cittadino is probably one of the most well-known in terms of racing. He was he won six races in a 136, 136, race, 136 race season in the Interserie Snickers Cup Series, a record. So Citadino is looking to be a very, very promising rookie this season. We'll see how he does. And that number 26 for Roush. Uh, there's Brandon Griffiths. Brandon Griffiths, man. I'll tell you what. This guy has really, really been impressive. And he drove for Penske last season. Got them their first win since season two. And now he's trying for MBR. Some more top equipment for Brandon Griffiths. So very interested to see how he does. He's driving a Trying to jack car. He's gonna drink some jack. Yeah, drink some jack. Shove it in his mouth. <laughs> so yeah, Brandon Griffiths. Let's see how he does. We gotta hurry. Uh, is that covered everybody? Oh no, we forgot about Seth Cole in the 83. Oh, 39 takes over the top spot. And that is, I think, P.J. Williams in a 39, isn't it? Yeah, P.J. Williams very fast in the practice. Seth Cole in number 83, filling in for the injured Noah Hart. Noah Hart flip adds and Jolt is really, really injured. And we actually found out after Kentucky that he snuck by a injury um, thing. So Hart was driving was driving with a apparently a broken arm somehow. We don't understand how he did that with one arm. But then again, it wasn't very good during the race. So I guess that explains it. Oh, God, therefore, why? So Seth Cole filling in for the Flying Bandicoot. We'll see how he does. Will Goss is back, ladies and gentlemen. Goss drove in season two in the zero one, and now he's trying for the thirty one for MBR. MBR are really extending their teams. There's Shelton. So Goss is six right now in practice speeds. We got one minute left, pushing the ten. Very interested to see how Will Goss will do this season. Let's see how he does. Trying to recognize any car. Oh, we got one last guy. I think I mean, well, actually, female. We got Andre Erickson, female. <laughs> you know, the Pot Cup Series, we always welcome female drivers. Always welcome new and exciting drivers. And she and and uh, Deanna Shelton will be the female drivers this season. I'm quite interested to see how, see how she does. And then number 43 for RPM. Once driven by somebody. Oh, well, there we go. That's the end of that. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, hold on a second. Uh, that was interesting. Um, um, hold on. <laughs> well, Andre Erickson looking to be hopefully an exciting new female driver. 
See how he does is we just failed that one. Uh, I think we covered everybody, didn't we? Uh, I'm trying to see if we didn't cover any of these guys. Oh, Peachy London blew up. <laughs> he blew up there. And yeah, we got everybody. That's it. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed watching preseason Thunder. Hopefully, we don't get rain, although we're hearing there's 100% chance of rain for the afternoon. But either way, we're excited to see this new season of the Aspon Cup Series. Couple, several, couple new rookies, a lot of returning drivers, and a really interesting season I'm hoping for. And hopefully, once again, this rain clears up, and we will see you guys at the Talladega 500.